let's fix all the titles and every meta tag which we need to put in a head and then move on to the next thing. So uh, in order to fix that one, I'm going to just go to the .env file and quickly uh, we have the project dot, the project name and I already add project description. So it could be a sentence about uh, our blog. So I already put it there. And also I go to the next.config.js and inside the public runtime config, I add two keys, page title, page description. These are the default value for the title and description. And as you can see, I'm getting them from the process.env and then process.env project description project name. Next thing is, so now that we have them in our config, we can easily use them anywhere on a page we want to use. So uh, in order to do them, I, for example, I go to the page.js and see where can we use it to begin. So in a page.js, as you know, we have get config. And from the get config, we are just extracting public runtime and server runtime. At the moment, we don't need server runtime, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Only the public public runtime config. We also don't need these two. I'm going to get rid of these ones. And then we are coming to the page. And inside head, we are just putting those values. So I'll save this one, go to the head. The same in a head. So I get the config from next config and then extract public runtime config. And inside there we have the title, which now title instead of process env page title or project name, now we're going to use this page title, which we specified a few seconds ago in next.config here. So we have the page title and also we have the meta description with the content of page description, as you can see. We are not really going to change the meta description unless we are in a blog page. And if you're there, we need to change it, which we will see in a few seconds. So, and I will close this one. In our index.js, which is our home page, we don't need a title because we have the default title. So I'm going to get rid of this one because we don't need it. And because now we have one uh, tag, we also don't need this one. I'm going to save this one. And also I will come here. We don't need head anymore, so I can get rid of the head. And then if I go to the, for example, new, where we have a new, when we are going to have a new blog. So I already added head tag and then inside title. Sometimes I forgot in the past videos, I apologize. So we need to put the title around it. And then we just, again, same, we are just getting the config and then public runtime from config. And then we are using head and the title. Obviously, whenever we're going to use head, we need to import next head components as well, a module. And so, and then the page edit, as you can see, I've got the config, I've got this one, and I've got the header. And whenever we come here, uh, so we have, again, the head and the title is editing and the title of the blog. And then we always keep this bit at the end. So I'm going to close the page edit. We have also blog show which is the same. So we have in the blog show, we are going to overwrite the meta description with the content and the value will be intro. So we need to put the intro in it and description. And also in a, the title would be the title of the blog and in the, the actual page title we have. So I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. And if we come here and look at the page and inspect it, so in a head, we should be able to see the meta, uh, the title. So it's the title of the blog. So if I change this one to, I don't know, for example, something 
better. And if I update it, obviously this one has changed. And then we are editing something better. And if I just uh, press here, now we have the right title. We have the right title here, all the time change. And also, if we come back here and look for the meta uh, description, so we have the content is one and two because our intro is one and two. 